Methuselah is a figure deeply tied to the antediluvian era, an epoch before the flood described in the Bible. He is best known for the extraordinary length of his life, which the Bible records as 969 years. This remarkable detail often draws interest, but Jehovah's Witnesses emphasize that Methuselah's longevity was not merely a curious number. It was a reflection of a time when humans were much closer to the perfection originally possessed by Adam and Eve before their rebellion against God's sovereignty. Let's take a thorough look at Methuselah's identity, lineage, the significance of his lifespan, and his place in the chain of events that led to the flood, all in keeping with what Jehovah's Witnesses teach and what you might find in resources on jw.org. Who Methuselah was and his ancestry. According to the Bible's genealogies, specifically those recorded in Genesis chapter 5, Methuselah was part of the direct line of patriarchs who bridged the gap from Adam to Noah. He was the son of Enoch, one of the more notable early worshippers of Jehovah. Enoch was described as a man who walked with God, and Jehovah's Witnesses believe this phrase indicates that Enoch was faithful, righteous, and stood in stark moral contrast to the increasingly violent and godless society that surrounded him. Methuselah inherited this spiritual legacy from his father, though the Bible does not provide as much detail about Methuselah's personal spiritual condition or direct interactions with God. It is also recorded that Methuselah became the father of Lamech, and through Lamech came Noah. In other words, Methuselah was the grandfather of Noah, who would become the builder of the ark. This places Methuselah in a critical position in the lineage that preserved true worship of Jehovah and ultimately led to the survival of the human family after the global deluge. Jehovah's Witnesses use this genealogical line, as presented in the scriptures, to assert the Bible's historical credibility and its careful preservation of human ancestry, culminating in the arrival of the Messiah many centuries later. Meaning of the name Methuselah While Jehovah's Witnesses note that the exact meaning of Methuselah is not definitively settled, some Bible scholars have proposed that it could mean man of the dart, when he dies, judgment, or man of the javelin. References in Watchtower Society publications may discuss these scholarly suggestions, but what Jehovah's Witnesses focus on more than name etymology is the role Methuselah played as a living link in the pre-flood world. He represents a continuous thread of worshippers who carried forward the knowledge of Jehovah's standards, even as corruption spread across the earth. His lifespan and its significance. Methuselah's life of 969 years makes him the longest living human recorded in the Bible. Jehovah's Witnesses take the Bible's chronological statements at face value, believing these ages to be historical and factual. They reason that the first humans were created perfect and thus had the genetic potential for enormous longevity. Over generations of sin's influence, this longevity diminished, which is why lifespans shortened after the flood. Methuselah stands as a poignant symbol of that antediluvian era, showing how close mankind still was to their original created state. One interesting point that Jehovah's Witnesses sometimes highlight is Methuselah's death in relation to the flood. Methuselah died in 2370 BCE, the same year the flood began. Although the Bible does not explicitly state that Methuselah died in the flood, Jehovah's Witnesses generally believe that he may have died of natural causes shortly before the cataclysm. This timing is seen as significant, as it indicates Methuselah's life literally spanned a vast stretch of human history. He was born in a world still relatively young after Adam's creation and died just as Jehovah was about to cleanse the earth of rampant violence and wickedness. Spiritual Lessons from Methuselah's Era While Jehovah's Witnesses do not attribute deep theological roles directly to Methuselah himself, since the Bible provides no personal commentary on his righteousness or devotion, they do consider his time period and ancestry as instructive. By looking at the chain from Adam, through Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, and down to Noah, they observe that true worship of Jehovah persisted through a family line despite the surrounding moral decay. Enoch's faithfulness, and later Noah's, are the real spiritual highlights. Methuselah and others in that family line form a backdrop of human continuity that helped preserve the knowledge of God. In this sense, Methuselah's place in the chronology underscores the importance of family inheritance of faith and moral values, a principle Jehovah's Witnesses try to emulate today. Additionally, the sheer longevity of Methuselah serves as a testimony to the changing human condition. Jehovah's Witnesses point out that after the flood, lifespans drop dramatically. This is attributed to a variety of factors from a biblical perspective, the loss of the pre-flood canopy, altered environmental conditions, and the cumulative degradation of human genetic perfection due to sin. 
Methuselah's long life thus stands as a stark contrast to the human condition we see in modern times, helping believers appreciate that the Bible's early accounts are not just mythical tales but are presented as real history that explains current human limitations. Historical context and additional references, on jw.org, under the Bible Teachings, or Bible Study Tools, sections, you may find articles or references in the Watchtower and Awake. Magazines that discuss the patriarchs, including Methuselah. The Watchtower Society's published chronology, for example, in Insight on the Scriptures, often details the timeline of events from creation to the flood. Please share and like and please subscribe.